Hi everyone, the book I'm reviewing today is called Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if Your Life Depended on It by Chris Foss. So negotiation has been something I've been quite drawn to and reading this book was absolutely fantastic. Um, it, it taught negotiation skills so simply with such fantastic examples that I could start implementing them almost immediately. If it's something that you're interested in, I would definitely recommend. Um, this book is also in my top 10 books of must read once in your life. It was really that fantastic. What I really enjoyed was the way Chris took uh, examples of negotiations that he had handled both as an FBI hostage negotiator, as a professor, as a consultant um, and took you through the example but then broke it down into the different negotiation tactics that he explains. So for me learning is, um, I don't, I, I like to learn through examples, they're very practical and that helped me quite a lot because you actually have a whole example that you go through and then he breaks it down into the different tactics and how to employ them. And I think that's why uh, this book is so amazing because it's easy for anyone to be able to grasp it. There's been tons and tons of examples. Uh, I will read a few extracts from you and then give you some thoughts. People generally fear conflict, so they avoid useful arguments out of fear that the tone will escalate into personal attacks they cannot handle. People in close relationships often avoid making their own interests known and instead compromise across the board to avoid being perceived as greedy or self-interested. They fold, they grow bitter, and they grow apart. We've heard of marriages that ended in divorce and the couple never fought. Families are just an extreme version of all parts of humanity, from government to business. Except for a few naturals, everyone hates negotiations at first. Your hands sweat, your fight or flight kicks in with a strong emphasis on flight and your thoughts trip drunkenly over themselves. The natural first impulse for most of us is to chicken out, throw in the towel, run. The mere idea of tossing out an extreme anchor is traumatic. That's why wimp win deals are the norm in the kitchen and in the boardroom. No, our sweaty palms are just an expression of physiological fear. A few trigger-happy neurons firing because of something more base, our innate human desire to get along with other members of the tribe. It's not the guy across the table who scares us, it's conflict itself. If this book accomplishes only one thing, I hope it gets you over the fear of conflict and encourages you to navigate it with empathy. If you're going to be great at anything, a great negotiator, a great manager, a great husband, a great wife, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to ignore that little genie who's telling you to give up, to just get along, as well as the other genie who's telling you to lash out and yell. You're going to have to embrace regular, thoughtful conflict as the basis of effective negotiation and of life. And I read this extract because I think it summarizes so well everything that I've taken from this book. Um, besides just seeing negotiation as a tool, really just understanding human emotion, reactions, um, empathy, uh, he talks about different uh, body movements, verbal, nonverbal communication. Communication is another topic that I quite enjoy. And really, he navigates through all of this and he weaves it in so well through different day-to-day -day examples that we can all relate to. Um, so I'd strongly suggest that you, you read this. And I'm going to summarize everything with one of my favorite um, key lessons that Chris highlights. What we don't know can kill us or our deals, but uncovering it can totally change the course of a negotiation and bring us unexpected success. Negotiation is a psychological investigation. When the pressure is on, you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to your highest level of preparation. And that's another thing. Um, we sometimes are so focused on 
what am I going to say? How am I going to? Can I? Can't I? Um, it's incredible. Did you see how the other person said this? That we get so tied up to the emotional aspects, we forget to prepare. As with anything, we have to prepare. Preparation, preparation, preparation. And this book is filled with tips on how you can prepare for daily negotiations, um, for boardroom negotiations. I mean, I've applied sayings in here. I love going to shop at uh, markets and flea markets and when I travel, especially around the continent and to employ some of these things has just been so amazing. I mean, it's weird. I, I got to practice a lot of this and to actually see the results has been phenomenal. So highly recommend it. If you read the book, let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you.